Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be showing and announcing that I am making a Hunger Games map. I've been making this for the past few days, I even showed it on a few Discord servers, but it's a work of progress currently. It's mainly why I haven't been uploading. There is a bunch of buildings in this Hunger Games, and basically the entire premise of this Hunger Games is you spawn up there, you chill there for a bit, and then you come down here, it teleports you down here with these teleporters and barrier devices, and then uh, all these barrier devices get opened, right? And then you, you can go onto this island, or you can go to other places and try to get more loot and craft your own stuff. You can find your own stuff. There's some stuff here. You have a grapple glove. A lot of storyline throughout this map. At least there is going to be. There's a lot of random structures, like this, this like kind of random structure thing. Uh, there's a bridge over here that's very nice, and I worked a bit on. And this map is probably one of the biggest projects besides my Battle Royale map I've done in a while. Over here are some mineshaft looking place. It's pretty nice. I mean, if you want to come over here to craft like a tact tactical SMG, you can. This is in progress. It's going to be the side on Bristol. But yeah, that's that's basically the premise of it. I've only done 16 of the teams. There's 50 teams. So if I ever get a creator code, which it looks like I'm going to get a creator code like maybe next year this year, if I'm still going the same. So I just gotta say, subscribe. Not for my personal gain, really. I mean, and there haven't, of course, been really any Hunger Games maps. I mean, you've had Battle Royale maps, but like, not really a prime Hunger Games map that has storyline in it. Yeah, basically, this is where like the uh, everyone watches the actual game happen. What I wanted this to do is like loop around, but I just didn't have the space or really the memory to do that. Especially since the <laughs> yeah, you can see it would have to really go weird but as you can see on the map the island's pretty flop-sided it goes here 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 and then it's just outer edges there i still have stuff floating because i'm still working on it of course i mean i really try to work hard with these props you can just crouch in to get through there more tactical smt um yeah of course you can find a bunch of like duct tape sometimes there's some there's a lot of loot throughout the map but yeah i mean there's not that much to show right now I mean, you have, there's a bunch of buildings, right? And then these chest things, you can pickaxe. Uh, but yeah, this is the middle island, it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna showcase a few, a little bit of the map overall. Kind of how it works. So immediately you can see this is the hub area, this is where you chill for a bit. It's a bunch of like chairs everywhere, you have big shots, I don't know, it's just like a food area. And then you get teleported here. Uh, once you die, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get you up there, but I'm not completely sure. So, immediately, you just get spawned here, and then barrier goes out, there will be a countdown, and you could just book it to the middle, or just like figure out a way uh, in other places. Grab that stuff. Current, uh, the ones in the middle are um, sometimes give you stuff. There's, there's a lot of random stuff, I don't know why I got two grapplers uh, right there, but I guess I'm just unlucky. Some give you weapons. Usually the middle ones, beginning middle ones, don't really give you that much. But, yeah. But the outer ones give you a lot more, like actual guns, because I don't want people killing each other at the beginning uh, as much, but yeah. Here you have this one. Also, this one on the top that is give you guns. Okay, so. Oh my god, a smoke grenade. I'm getting really unlucky with these uh, guns. I don't have any. Of course, this is unfinished. The chests I might completely redesign. That's not supposed to be there. But then again, you can just like craft to get a bunch of other like wood and stuff for that. I can just pick up this duct tape, find wood somewhere. And we'll do that. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, speaking of guns, there should be a bow here. Yeah, right here. It's hidden. This has only one ammo in it. You have to be careful. It is Hunger Games after all. Uh, got some of that. I don't need this blast powder, but I can take it. There, but with this bow, you can get up to places you usually can't. But it only has one arrow uh, until you get some other arrows, so that's not really a thing. Really great thing, you can't destroy anything here, right? But you can destroy the other things. So I think I can craft the tactical SMG. Uh, it is also in beta, so it might not work. Looks like it's not gonna work. Okay. That's really great. I can just destroy those. Um, 
Does that even give me anything? I didn't get anything in that chest. There we go. It's not done at all. There's so many glitches in this. But I'm just showing it to you guys. Just for like a... Oh yeah, this exists. Um, but yeah. Another really cool thing is the crystals. So over here, there's a crystal here. And these are going to be used to get some really good items. They're hard to get to. They don't give that much, honestly. And they don't really do anything currently. But they will. Uh, if you're worried about like people getting over to the... Uh, balcony or there the benches um just remember that there's a barrier to it's like no no one's getting over there watch i'm gonna go over there or i'm gonna try to you can like grapple onto the barrier that's here i guess but, like why would you do that there must be a glitch then uh, but yeah i have another one of these bows so interesting thing as you probably saw right there this is a scythe and they are pretty nice to get so when you get a scythe you can use it to, I guess, just use it. As you can see, my HP is kind of crazy. And I know you guys may not like the change, but it's going to be needed when you're getting shot and you can't build. But yeah, there's a bunch of these rock things where you can just climb up. Usually they lead to crystals, which is like right here. There are a few crystals that you can't physically get to without like a item to help you, like with the sideways thing that just helped me right there. But this is, I think, one of the ones that... No, you can't get up here. Um, a lot of them, there's actually zero way to get to. But one of the coolest ways to get to a... Uh, a crystal, that was pretty cool. Uh, one of the ways to get to a crystal that I don't think people would find yet. But I just want to reveal. You know, you see this rock, like, it's pretty normal. Like, you, you don't really see anything wrong with it. Can I restore that? Yes, I can. Uh, but yeah, you don't really see anything really wrong with this rock, but basically what you have to do is you have to go up here, you have to jump onto this, jump onto that, you have to jump onto this little rock, uh, you don't even need that rock, you can just jump over here. There's some ridges here which you can get through the rock, you can rock climb on these little rocks here, which is really neat, and you can go on this one, and then you can go on this one, and then you just climb up the ridges, and then you get to a crystal. If you don't fall, boom, you're up here, and you can collect your rainbow crystal. One of the funner ways to get up, and honestly, people probably probably wouldn't even notice how to get up there. I mean, those like wet rocks right there are kind of obvious. I might change those to where that's not obvious. But yeah, that's how you get up there. Pretty neat. And by the way, if I hadn't said this before, there are a lot of weapons just hidden throughout the area. Like that, it has no ammo. But I will be having ammo uh, scattered throughout the map as well. Uh, currently, there's a bug where the item placer to have ammo um, and then pick up the ammo and then the weapon. It doesn't work. The ammo, like, it just doesn't work, I guess. I don't know why. Like, it just won't implement it to working, which is odd. But, yeah. But yeah, going to this side of the map, it's pretty neat. Uh, by the way, this is my first time using the shark gallery terrain. So you go up here, uh, I should have gone with the bridge, that would have been probably easier. But, uh, I hate myself, so... Over here, here's another place, uh, you can go to. You have some... Here, of course, you know, chests. Uh, over here, right on the hay bale, there's a grapple glove. I think I've already shown you guys at the point, if I hadn't edited it out. But yeah, you get a grapple glove, which is really useful, honestly. But you could probably use this grapple glove pretty efficiently. Uh, that's making that noise. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, if I can use this... Nope. No. Well, you can use it to advantage, kind of. Uh, but it sucks. It really does suck. Uh, I can't fix it, I don't think. So, taking fall damage. Let's test it. That's not good. That's pretty much it. Of course, I'm still working on this map. If you guys have any suggestions, tell, tell me. me. Uh, please tell me something that I don't know. Uh, because, I mean, I barely watch Hunger Games, so I don't know what I'm doing, really. 
I'm just using my Battle Royale skills to make something similar to the premise of Hunger Games. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later next time. I'm releasing a video tomorrow, maybe. Uh, I mean, I'm not really good with my upload schedule, but I'm going to be releasing another video pretty soon. Uh, and that's going to be me breaking creative, I'm pretty sure. And plus, if you subscribe, that gives me motivation to keep on making content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later next time, and goodbye.